um, we really have a crisis situation going on. You know, we're seeing organisations like the CBI and the TC come out now demanding immediate support to people, to struggling families, ordinary people right now. Um, the cost of living crisis is really deepening and it's going to get worse. So the thing is, we need to see the Chancellor really step up and take action. Um, Inflation has hit a 40-year high at 9%, and the biggest component of that is really food and energy prices, which tends to hit ordinary and poorest families the hardest. So that's where we need to see targeted support. I think now any any sort of inaction or dithering by this government or by the Chancellor, there's really no excuse for it. Yeah, the Chancellor was speaking last night to businesses, saying he's going to do more in his um, autumn statement. Is that too far away to, to deal with this issue, which is affecting mm. people right now? I think it's really too far away and I think everyone recognise it, really recognises that now because, you know, people are cutting back on basic items, they're skipping meals and they're getting into debt to pay for basic items. Once a situation like that sets in, you know, businesses also get hurt by that because the economy is contracting and they, they're they not making, you know, people aren't going to buy things from them, they won't make investments in the economy and we see a sort of contraction start to happen. So we, we do need to see action now. What would what what is it that you'd like to see the chancellor do? Is there something he could do immediately? Do you think that would help um, a large proportion of people? Because um, he's talked about helping the poorest people, and um, but really everyone's being affected by this in one way or another. Everyone is affected by it, but um, the poorest are most affected by this particular nature of this crisis because, as I said, energy and food prices tends to make up the biggest component of their basket. Um, there are things that the Chancellor could do immediately, which he, he hasn't been willing to do, which is, you know, make sure benefits rise in line with inflation, make sure he increases and um, reinstates the universal credit uplift of £20. That's helping, you know, in a targeted way. And also, we really need to see him consider this windfall tax. He, he hasn't been willing to... Um, put this in place but a windfall tax on energy companies is really really coming urgent now